Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today, uh, we're gonna go over, uh, we're gonna just be doing an oil change on my new tractor I got. I bought this thing slightly used and it's at 200 hours and I have no idea if the oil's ever been changed. Uh, but it's a 2020 uh, LX2610. Uh, this is a cab model, uh, if you're not familiar with these. Uh, so far I like it quite a bit. Um, you know, it's been pretty good so far. Uh, Show y'all 201 hours pretty much. So, um, I'll have a video, I'll go over it a little more about the stuff I do and don't like about it. Uh, but for the oil change, uh, I'm gonna be I'm supposed to have pins in there, but it doesn't have it. Uh, first of all, you just pop the hood and there's a little hood latch just like on a car. And you can these side panels just come right off nice and easy. Um, you're supposed to have a little pin on there. I'm not really sure where mine is, but um, I'm gonna take these both off just like that. And I, I do have my pallet forks on, and I have them pointing down. So if the loader tries to fall on me, it'll uh, at least hit that. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start draining the oil. This is this machine. Well, let's go over what we need first. Uh, first of all, you'll need a 17 millimeter socket. Um, an extension and a ratchet and just some diesel oil. I'm just going to use Rotella. I've always had good luck using Rotella and I have a mobile one filter uh, because the factory filter is like $25 and I'm not paying that for an oil filter. And you'll need an oil filter wrench but I'll have to go get that because I forgot it. So let me go ahead and hop under here and I'll show y'all. Uh, there's the two drain bolts on this thing. Kind of a stupid design. It's two drain bolts. Uh, and the drive shaft runs through the center of it. Um, and those are 17 millimeters, but there's a lot of paint on it, so you kind of have to wiggle it on there. Uh, yeah. Japanese, so. Um, I believe they're Japanese, pretty sure. Um, but 17 millimeter, and let's get the oil draining. All right, our oil is draining out. Um, I did one side first and let it drain for a while, and then I did the other side. So we'll let that drip out for a little bit more. And uh, right now we'll go ahead and loosen the oil filter. And it's probably gonna make a big mess because um, it's kind of not in a very good spot, but that's all right. So let's go ahead and, oh man, I lost one of my drain bolts in the oil pan. Well, that's a pretty big filter. I'm not a big fan of how Kubota did this. Let me go get a different wrench. All right, we got our new oil filter. I went ahead and oiled the O-ring and I cleaned up the old filter that where it mounts. And we'll go ahead and screw that on there. Might need both hands for this. Let me get that on there. All right, the filter is back on. Uh, for everyone wondering, that was a Mobile One M1-104A. Uh, and if it goes, the instructions say to tighten it down by hand and then go one full turn with the wrench after that. That's what the manual states. Um, for the oil filter, or for the drain bolts, I went ahead and put them back on. I just need to snug them up. I'm not sure what the torque spec on these are. Um, but usually, you know, you just do it snug by hand, you're good to go. They weren't on there real tight, so. Just do uh, do what you can by hand. Uh, let me go ahead and get this tightened and then we'll add some oil. All right, so this, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, so this tractor should take 4.2 quarts. Uh, this jug is four quarts. So I'm gonna dump this in there and we'll check the oil reading after that. Um, I went ahead and tightened the bolts, put the filter on and I got the uh, funnel in there to dump the oil in. Uh, the LX3310 is basically the same tractor, but it has a, a little bit bigger engine and it's a common rail um, with a, a DPF on it. So this LX2610 doesn't have any emissions on it, so it's a lot easier to get in here. Uh, so if it looks a little different, that would be why. But uh, let me go ahead and dump this in there off camera and we'll, uh, we'll get back with you. All right, so I added the four quarts of oil. Let's go ahead and check our, check our dipstick. It's on the right-hand side. Right at the full dot. It's perfect. All right, we'll go ahead and put that back in there. And let's go ahead and fire the tractor up. 
The dipstick's a little hard to get to back in here. You definitely have to take the panel off every time to get to it, which is a little frustrating. Uh, not a huge deal, I guess, but not easy for a quick check. Let's go ahead and start it up, make sure it's at idle. Pressure lights are on. Let's let it run for about 30 seconds to a minute. These are only little engines. Pretty, relatively pretty quiet, also. Being diesel. You can see right there uh, the AC compressor. All right, so sorry, I had my camera cut out, um, but I got the oil checked. I'm gonna let it sit for a few more minutes before I check it again. Um, so one thing I wanted to do is I, I wiped off this uh, AC line uh, going down here, the low side. Um, this, this gets cold and has condensation on it and the dirt sticks to it. I'm not sure if it'll affect anything if I by just wiping it down, probably not, but um, I just wanted to do it anyways. I'm gonna check the screens in here um, for the air conditioning also uh, this guards the radiator and the condenser uh, and there's actually another filter back here too on these tractors we'll go ahead and check that as well this is the cabin air filter for this tractor Probably never been checked since it's new, since it was new. Let's take a look here and see. Oh yeah, it's pretty dirty. So I'll go ahead and blow these off with the air compressor and then uh, we'll reinstall them. But uh, another thing you can check too, I already checked it, so I'm not gonna worry about it, is if, if you have one of these, your hydraulic fluid is right here. Uh, I'll have a video on servicing that soon. If anyone's interested, I'll, I'll make a video on it. Um, that's how you, that's where the hydraulic fluid is. Uh, let me, let's go ahead and check the air filter. Whenever you're doing your oil change, it's just a good time to go over everything. A uh, little dusty, but not bad. I'll go ahead and blow it off too. Uh, definitely doesn't need to be replaced. Just a little quick uh, rinsing off. So uh, let me blow these out and we'll be back. All right, so um, I went ahead and put all the filters back in and uh, I topped off the oil to make sure it was good to go. And uh, I think that, that's about it. The uh, only thing, pretty easy oil change other than this oil filter, kind of a stupid design, how it just jerks everywhere. Um, and also how that radiator hose right here runs right against the filter. And the, the two drain bolts for the oil is kind of annoying, but other than that, uh, not bad. Um, Not bad. So, anyways, uh, thank y'all for watching. Uh, if y'all have any questions about the tractor or want to see some more content on it, please let me know. I'm excited about it. I'm going to do some videos, I think, on it. Um, on that shredding and doing a few other things around my property. So, if you're uh, interested in that, please subscribe and uh, stay uh, stay tuned for more. So, anyways, thank y'all. Y'all have a good one.